Manchester, UK. Three videos at a time with Stephen Goddard. So I've come out to film. And there's the guy. So behind the Royal Mail. There's a guide channel. Which is part of Elton Brook. Runs along in there. Right, the reason I'm being quick, this is an added bit. And we've got high water so we can get an idea of what it used to look like. But it's just started raining heavy. So I'm behind the back of Albion Mill. And I'm going to get a shot of the chimney quick. So we don't, we're going to get splashes on the lens if we'd carry on like that. And I'll just pan round. Right, so I'm just panning round. Big puddles, you can hear the water. And also sites of Old Mill. So the big puddles. There's a chimney, an old building. There's a little bit that sticks out, so the road's wider at the ground and the building's wider at the top. And you can also have a crane sticking out, that's what them are for. Right, so it's sort of private land. I've got people watching and the rain is bad and I've no brawling. So I'm just going to do this in one take. So up into the fire station. Up into the fire station. See my friend, as I said I would. And we have permission to do some stuff. So this is the old fire escape, but they have warmed it, it's not been used in a while. But the idea here is I can get a good shot, or well, we can. If the canal's in there, that's the site where the canal will be. Victoria Mill. But all the old mill sites. Now it does go up higher, but I'm not going to risk it. He's put the willies up me that man saying that the one's been up here for a while. There is a flower pot. I'm not frightened of heights, but I am frightened of falling from great heights. So there we go, that's how high it is. As we pan down and around, and the Royal Mail. Okay, and we'll walk back down again. So it's just a brief one to tell you that, as you know, there's two endings. And the two endings are showing you how you can fit different bits of information into the appropriate scenes. Incidentally, the cut scene at Elton, walking down through Elton High School, that's completely freestyle, that. That's the experiment, that's vlogging. And the ducks come across at exactly the right time, and the dog barks, and you have to improvise. So that was just an example of showing you how to freestyle documentary. There's a little bridge down here, we're going to end on that. Oh no, we're not going to end on that. You can see the bridge in the ground. That's another culvert bit. Still an active mill. There's some stones from the mill, stored. There's some stones here. As we walk out, pan round, a bit of a fire there. Right, so we and as I pan round, I'll pan round and pan up, and then back down again. Okay. Oh. I've seen a, a good friend of mine. She used to work at the fire station. Well, she still does, and she's the boss. <laughs> she's the manager. She was busy today. I've just been. Spoke to the skirt guard, who's a nice fellow. He said, Sorry. her and her husband, I, I'm good friends with. Not in school, which is handy. Plus, I got some permission off the man who owns the mill, Albion Mill, to have a look around. But some engineers are still working late, and I didn't know. 1906 in there. That, I love that, that doorway, it's good, that, isn't it? Of all the stuff. 
So the lens didn't get wet and it's not all blurred. See these are all private sites but they're all part of mill sites. There's old stone in the background there. Next to that one. But it's private property and I only asked to go on that mill over the road. So once I get in the fire station, I found a way to get into the guy area I said that's not exactly private. But you're supposed to go in. Right, so we're off in this direction now. Just started a bit of rain again as well. It would it's a shame that I didn't have it already. So what I'm showing you there is it's built a modern unit on top of the older mill. So they knocked the mill down and left it up to that height. So it's digging new foundations. You can see all the old stuff around there. So this is an area where the flood came, flood waters. I'm actually looking for tide marks or lines at seven foot. But I can't find them. I haven't found anything like that, to be honest. These are all part of existing walls. Okay. Got old wooden doors on that one. So, as you can see, they're all older buildings, older walls. Very. So I was just explaining where I was at. That's just a bit of a bonus feature, really. Unfortunately, it just started pouring it down the minute. The guy said, "Yeah, go and have a look if you want." <laughs> Setting up my camera, it absolutely threw it down. He's closing now. I can see him. So I've had it. So that's Albion Mill. We've just seen Elton Brook and Walsh Brook as one entity pouring through. So at the end here is Elton Road. It would have been Elton Road. We discussed that. So the two, like I say, one's um, a vlog. It's a cut scene because it's out of sequence with everything. But what I've done is left it in. It, it just six, 16 minutes of improvised sort of documentary of time. Manchester. Hello there. So I'll just carry on and do it all in one shoot. Come round. There's some people at a bus stop. Nearly got run over. It is rush hour in Berry Bridge. So we're all well. I'm just gonna get a bit of the water in the daytime. But this is not the final shoot. I'm not happy with any of my endings. <laughs> I've got, got two in it, two alternative endings. It shows you how I can freestyle it a little bit. I know it takes a long time for people to make documentaries, you know like scouting and Getting your script ready and all that. I just switch them up. I just switch on and go. Going on for ten minutes, and all I want to do is get a wall. So this is the wall. This would be filled with water and boats, and it's filled up to that height. There's a little bit of a dead rat. We don't want to get that by accident because that would not look very nice, would it? So here's the site of an old mill. Let's get to it as fast as we can. Look how it's cut in. Is it cutting or is it supposed to be like that? You don't know. Can you see the wear in there? Now that's from some, I've said it before, it's corrosion, that's some description. I think it looks like bleach. Not 
know, it's worse in some areas than others anyway. And I think that's what it's supposed to look like, or it's on, built on top. But that looks newer. The bottom part isn't that very confusing and unusual. These are the sort of things I love, by the way. I just find things like that, because the bottom should be older than the top. So that does not make sense. And look at the old building techniques that they used to use. I'll do bricks of all different sizes, or the stones, to get fancy patterns. Um, you'll find building in this style, in the Aztec world in North America. The Aztecs were of course the North, well, what we call the Native American Indian, that's what the name they prefer, is a Cherokee or a red man.